Hi, hello, welcome to this new webinar of Civil Fan powered by Mark. Today we will um, show you the release highlights of this 2019 version. Uh, as you know, well, uh, we we have a lot of uh, webinars, so today we will present this one. Roman Martin and myself, Ronald Siat, will be the lecturers for this webinar. Well, uh, today, today we just say uh, we are going to, to present uh, just to, to, to overview the, the main improvements. Uh, we have several ones, but the, the main improvements uh, are the following. As you know, civil fem <coughs> uh, is um, the civil fem. The, the, the target of civil fem is having uh, advanced nonlinearities, advanced nonlinear models. Uh, not only structural but also geotechnical, and also uh, just uh, uh, combining with uh, code checking and design and many tools for civil engineering, as uh, concrete and nonlinear concrete, uh, also check and design by code, and post tension concrete, and, and just focus on that to, to make a unique uh, tool. So while following this uh, this this slide this this line of developments, uh, we are, we have improved the geotechnical uh, the technical part, adding new, a new material model, Hook and Brown. Also, uh, just uh, coming soon, we will have uh, a hardening soil model with uh, where the, um, uh, the the stiffness, the properties depends on the small strains. Just uh, well, the, the stiffness is reduced due to to, to small strains and some others. Well, uh, this this new uh, at the moment we have Hook and Brown. Also, we will add a joint truck mass for Hook and Brown, and also we have improved the copel analysis, the CPH structural copel analysis, for being able to just to to model uh, water uh, fluctuations, water table fluctuations, combining with uh, transient on or evolutive. Uh, construction analysis. So a uh, civil firm will analyze, will perform a CPH analysis on every step, step considering the water table and will uh, update the pool water pressure in the structural model, the effective stresses and will solve this uh, transit or evolutive uh, or uh, stage and construction structural analysis. Uh, just uh, that, that is for geotechnical also well uh, we have added uh, a new co cohesive contact. This contact, uh, the, the stiffness of the contact, uh, will be a function of uh, tension versus displacement. So we can model um, uh, this type of, of uh, we can simulate this type of, uh, of, of behavior, of bone slip behavior for uh, anchors, bolts, and also reinforcement bar, reinforcing bars inside concrete. So we can uh, we can model a bone behavior, and after a high uh, stress, uh, the slip between between both. And also we we have added uh, bin tab sections where we can have uh, variable sections, and also we can add different reinforcement groups inside several reinforcement groups inside a concrete uh, a beam, or a, or also for slabs for cells. In this way, we can uh, perform, we can have different uh, reinforcement groups, in example, uh, or variable cross-sections, and also be involved to check by code. Also, uh, we have developed, uh, following your demands, the client demands, the, uh, the, the possibility to copy, paste, and export from civil fame tables to Excel files, and the, in the opposite way, from Excel files to civil fame tables. So it, that is much faster to, to work. Yes, as you know, the solver is always included in the installation file, and we will use Mark method. This uh, version will be 2018, always uh, a version behind from Civil Pen. So we combine um, the advanced solver of Mark with the, all the, cap the Civil Pen capabilities, making making a unique uh, solution for civil uh, civil engineering, civil structural engineering. So well, just for for understanding these new capabilities, we have the following examples. A concrete arbit bridge where all the the beam that is that is uh, modeled with uh, with beams for for the arc um, and piers and they are uh, tapered beams also for for the slab if that is made of cells and we perform code checkings in on this model. Uh, for uh, also we have two examples uh, for this uh, new uh, bone slip behavior. One if an, uh, an anchor bolt pull out. And the other is our reinforcing concrete beam 
that uh, just with nonlinear concrete, we apply some loads and just uh, until a uh, slippage between bars and concrete happens, cracking, and we analyze the difference between uh, a beam with and without uh, this bone slip behavior. And the same for the anchors. And the last two examples are about geotechnics. Uh, one is uh, a construction process where there's a high water table in, in the model, then uh, uh, during the construction, inside the, the construction place, the, the water table is, well, pumping is, is happening, and the water level inside the construction is at the, at the excavation surface. So there's a head in the outside and inside uh, and side place between the in the water table so this will generate flow and increase pool water pressure in the in the under the excavation place and just reducing effective stresses and generating could generate here some failures and the last last example is a, a slope instability of a of a, a rock rock slope a model with hook and brown yes uh, after presenting these uh, examples, um, keep uh, keep keep on on the, on the presentation because we will show you uh, well the way of uh, sharing our uh, civil fem knowledge uh, with our platforms uh, using our training courses, and uh, we will present as uh, last year a new uh, beta tester program for this uh, uh, civil fem 2019. Uh, version uh, in the final release of the of the software will be uh, on June so between May and June we will uh, have this uh, beta tester program so we will all, all are invited to to join but uh, later on we will show you some info okay well let's start with the first example the concrete art bridge so I'll uh, just uh, uh, I'm going to open the software and just seeing it. As you can see here, we have, uh, we have variable cross-sections on every of this model. In example, this, this column, we have two different sections, top and bottom, and in this way we can uh, model these variable cross-sections. Well, uh, just uh, <coughs> after generating the model, of course, the, pro the procedure is exactly the same where we can uh, apply load, solve, and combine um, and perform different different combinations and check check by code. Uh, well, uh, just uh, uh, in, in order the, the way to generate these these beams, these these variable beams is in the same way we have done just here at um, the mesh. We generate a new beam. This beam we, it can be just variable section or uh, just a constant section. If we define a constant section, we set, uh, select the same cross section for top and bottom. Select the line we would like to mess and click here OK. So now uh, we have the, this, these options. It can be constant, variable, or just by, by different, uh, different zones. So if I select by zones, I can add in example different five zones in example, and on every of these zones I can define a different cross section every of this cross-section will have a reinforcement amount. So in example, the four first meters, I will have this cross-section. I can modify it to five meters. The length is, is 20 meters, so by default, civil fence divided the total length into five, and you have different cross-sections every four meters, but I can select to have five meters with a section with a reinforcement, the next two meters, other reinforcement amount, next two meters, another one, next two meters another one and last five another one so in this way we can add different zones and different reinforcement groups so well just uh, just it could be an option just to, to generate different zones or variable cross section where we can add also in different zones different cross sections so this this make a lot of options after generating the model the procedure is uh, what you know applying loads and just uh, uh, just combining those loads and checking and design by by code. If you, if you have some well, if you has, have some questions about uh, how to check and design by code, different standards we have here at the beginning. A lot of the, the active codes, Euro codes, British standard, Indian standards, uh, just uh, well uh, uh, American codes, 
so we can have a li long list of codes we can use to check and design uh, this this bin and sales structures uh, under uh, CR bending uh, plus axial or and also cracking checking but it's uh, uh, this is uh, well you have many many examples and webinars about civil film how to do it let's continue with the next examples so well um, the next example is a bolt pull out as you know well uh, just the behavior between the bolt and, and concrete when we are pulling out first there's like a elastic behavior of both and uh, it's uh, um, um, uh, bonded, totally completely bonded, the, the bar inside concrete, but after a stresses uh, level, uh, cracks start happening, uh, concrete uh, start failure in the surface between uh, bars and concrete, and slippage start happening, start happening and up to a level that uh, ju uh, just there's no uh, uh, bond, bond between them and uh, slippage happens only with friction resistance. So I'll well, just to simplify this model, this, this behavior we have added this low. First like a linear behavior, horizontal reduction in the, that is in the tension between, between the concrete and steel and then a friction behavior. Just opening the next model, this one. Here you can see we have here the concrete. The concrete is a non-linear concrete with cracking and crushing behavior with a tension uh, with cracking stress of one megapascal, different values, and also well the, the behavior between the, the, the bolt and the con and the concrete that the uh, bond slip behavior is given by this uh, cohesive contact. Here we, we can see the that the, the cohesive uh, uh, contact follows the tangential direction method and in the tangential direction method the stress versus displacement uh, low so this table that is millimeters versus megapascals you can add as many points as you would like and make just um, just it could be uh, hardening softening any type of, of low also as you know these these tables can be import uh, copy and paste from uh, from from Excel tables, yeah, that is also an improvement for this version. Well, once once we we've modeled this, we apply here uh, a force, a vertical force, and see just just what what is happening. Uh, just I'm going to load results, and here I load all these results. Well, I'm going to load just the first part. And you can see an example, vertical displacement. At the beginning there's no vertical displacement. I start pulling out. You can see pulling out from the concrete. And it starts coming out. And well, also the concrete part is deformed. And after a um, certain load, uh, it just slippage is happening between both. So uh, just if I plot just half of the model, just an example this part, we can see internally here what's happening between both. I can, in example, plot just the last step. But we have this slippage, and I can plot in example a crack width. We can see cracking is happening due to this pull out, uh, the, this ball pull out. Okay, now if I plot in example. Uh, just in the in some of these points, uh, stresses versus displacement at results level. I select all these element, those all these result files, and I'm going to plot in this. Just in example, in this node. 
here from the from the bolt I'm going to plot stresses versus displacement so just plotting stresses versus displacement I can see I have a similar low to the uh, contact behavior I gave first uh, elastic uh, behavior uh, more or less elastic behavior all this a linear deformation then horizontal and just a uh, just a vertical branch and and uh, just a uh, uh, friction at the end after just the the bone between the bar and the concrete is broken so well we could perform this behavior just uh, comparing in our slides if we compare a model on left that is completely inserted and on right with this bone slip behavior we can see that slip is happening and this bar goes outside here it's all together and concrete is just crack and but also it's pull out and we can see that uh, the relationship between force and displacement in this case is more or less linear and just just the stiffness of this, this model it's very high it's not realistic after a high a high load in the other model before sleep age the behavior similar the results should be similar but but after after uh, just uh, reaching high stress just uh, the the force is reduced and just then the, the sleep age happening without a, a, a high force so we can see the difference that after just the the maximum uh, axial force that can support this 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 bolt in this model is about uh, 170 kilonewtons but if we model it with completely insert model we can see that it reads just a much unrealistic behavior so well just for ultimate loads loads over uh, the just for just over the the resistance of the of the connection uh, for a, a realistic uh, behavior we need this type of advanced advanced uh, 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 just slow, uh, bone slip behavior for realistic uh, results also uh, we have added a bolt at the bottom uh, moreover not only the the bone slip behavior between the the bolt and the concrete and we can see that just just uh, with the pull out what we are generating in this case are uh, if we are plotting cracks uh, we are generating 45 degrees cracks and just a cone a concrete cone around it is just pull out with the bar this is due to this note that, that, that note that is at the bottom of the of the model so we can see that with this also with this bone slip behavior but adding something that uh, increase the anchor at the bottom just we are increasing again the behavior of this of this bolt with a higher strength and just uh, uh, well generating other type of failure in this case is a cone a concrete cone cone uh, just uh, pull out well uh, next example is bone slip uh, in reinforced concrete just for this model we have done something very similar here is the concrete inside we have two bars simply model also for concrete cracking um, crossing behavior and also for the contact we have done exactly the same uh, to define a stress versus this uh, tangential stress versus displacement curve this case is very similar you can add the, the behavior you would like and we have solved the model also uh, we have solved the model with and without uh, just the bone slip behavior that is completely inserted or uh, with bone slip behavior having different results as you know this 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 is the bone slip uh, curves uh, just follow this type of stresses stress slip uh, relationship where here you have the, the stresses at the beginning we have more or less elastic behavior then cracks and concrete failure happens around the, the ribs 
and then just there's a reduction of stress in the surface and then friction and sleep and friction behavior. So we have performed two different models, bone sleep behavior on top, insert, just completely uh, glue behavior between them, and we can see that, well, ultimate loads are close, not too far, but cracking are uh, has some small differences. Bone sleep behavior, cracks are more separated, but crack width is higher. Uh, when it is completely insert, when they work completely together, uh, crack, uh, crack spacing are, is smaller, but crack width is also smaller. Just there's a small difference within the, the crack patterns in both. And just a small difference in the, in the ultimate load in, in between both. For a very detailed behavior, also we can add this bonus sleep behavior. But well, uh, this could be also much more important when there is a pull out of any type of anchor and just as we saw, much more important in, in that other type of models. Well, next example is a rogue, uh, it's a rogue slope instability that we have solved. As you know, well, we are using hook and brow material model, uh, just compare it with, with, hook, uh, with more Coulomb. The more Coulomb uh, failure surface is just linear or just a, a, a pyramid with, it, with plain faces. Hook and brown, it's, it's, it's curve, the surfaces. And there are there's, uh, some some parameters that define this behavior. The way to the way to, to define this is just when selecting a material. Here you can see a rock. We select a rock. Select the type of rock that we are having. Example: igneous, granite. Uh, here we'll just select the one we would like, click OK, select the properties, and also modify the behavior for uh, hook and brown. Click OK, and then here we have hook and brown properties that, that we set them. Once we have uh, just set all the material properties, we mesh and apply the loads as we have always worked. In this case, we have added an overload on top, increased that overload until the failure to know the safety factor of that load. Here we have generated a video which is much easier to see, and we are plotting equivalent plastic strain. That is when stresses go outside the, this failure surface and yielding start happening. We play it, we, we can see yielding start happening here in the base of the model. Start increasing. Uh, this is a hard rock. This yield surface is very vertical, and just this failure is happening just by the surface. If this could be sun, in example, this failure surface will be just more linear and just just not so vertical. And if this is could be a cohesive soil, it will be more like a parabolic shape, but uh, just not so vertical. So well, it's important to use the right uh, the right uh, material model for our accuracy result. And well, uh, just. Um, just the next example uh, we are going to see is just the uh, the uh, uh, the unwatering during the cost a construction process. As I explained, we have a high um, water table. Just during the construction, pumping is reducing inside the construction the water level till the excavation level, and this will affect to the uh, pool water pressure, effective stresses, also the pressure on walls, and also in the axial forces in the different anchors of the model. So well, here you have the model. Uh, well, the way to define this is defining uh, different uh, boundary conditions, different load cases, some load cases for seepage, and some load cases for structural analysis. The way to use, to combine them, is in the structural load cases, you have to select which uh, seepage analysis, which seepage load step will correspond. In this way, uh, we can perform a seepage analysis with water table fluctuation and its effects during the construction process or in transit analysis. Just uh, well, using the videos, which is easier and faster, here we can see that we have two different models. The first one with a pool water pressure, which is a uh, a high uh, water level almost at the surface and in the other one is pool water pressure just when we are pumping water inside the excavation zone so we can see the water level is uh, is uh, zones over the water level with zero pool water pressure 
are plotting gray. The other colors means we have a poor water pressure. So uh, just watching a video, it means just the surface water level is just a half meter under the surface, and we can see the pool water pressure during the excavation process. You can see here we start the excavation process and start pumping and reducing the pool water pressure. Pumping and then reduce the water pressure and solving just pool water pressure is increased inside. Okay, so it, as I said, this is the effect of this pool water pressure is not only in the soil, but also at walls and, and anchors of the walls. Here in example, we have two, here in example, we have two models where we have on the left uh, no water table and on the right water table. It's just the construction process and we are plotting axial forces in both. We can see here the axial forces 1000 and something and this is less than 1000 kilonewtons. So we can see the axial forces are less as our uh, axial forces are higher in the model with with uh, the water table, the seepage analysis. So well, it's it's about 20% higher. And well, I just see in the evolution of the water table we already seen. We can see how just we can see how during the construction process the evolution of of the water table. due to the pumping and just uh, and the excavation process. Okay, so well, uh, just a summary of this. Uh, we have seen we have improved the geotechnic, uh, the geotechnics capabilities with new materials models and also improving the seepage structural couple analysis. Also, we have added a new cohesive contact for pull-out and bond slip behavior for anchors, reinforcing inside concrete and, and so on. Also, new beam tapper cross sections uh, and reinforcement in different zones, and seal film tables uh, from two Excel tables. So it's, um, it's the main improvements. We have, we have also improved uh, the generation the, the of of result files. It's much faster. Also, seal film is more robust, and just we continue uh, just implementing and improving seal film to be the, a unique solution that combines. Uh, non-linear behavior when in a really with a really easy to use graphic interface a very friendly very easy to to perform these non-linear uh, models and combining with tools for civil civil structural engineering like uh, like uh, check and design by codes uh, concrete and steel post tension concrete and well uh, combinations and a long amount of of new tools for these models well thank you uh, roman uh, after showing uh, all these interesting uh, examples, now uh, we want to uh, show you uh, well how uh, we uh, train you um, to this uh, software. We have our new beta tester program, as uh, we explained you before. But first, I want to explain you well the way of uh, Civil FM uh, give uh, uh, its courses. Um, this international online CEA education center, uh, you have the, the web page uh, uh, shown below, we have many, many courses uh, for, for civil fem uh, powered by Mark. Besides this software, we have our other, other, other courses for, for alternative uh, uh, software, and it's uh, flexible for all of you. You have a, a, a course every 15 days, and uh, these uh, courses are fully uh, practical with the uh, just you will use use just the software, but if you want to uh, learn as well uh, the fundamentals with the, uh, adding more the theoretical um, material, you have uh, the online the international masters in theoretical and practical application of uh, uh, finite element method and CEA simulation. Uh, we have started the 25th uh, uh, um, annual course, uh, more than uh, almost uh, 4,000. Uh, enrolled engineers uh, have uh, already uh, performed these these masters, and uh, you can have more information in this uh, in this link. So uh, this uh, Vita Tester program uh, uh, it's already open. You can uh, join us uh, in the in the links the, that they are shown uh, below, 
of course uh, you will have if you have a couple of minutes to uh, fill in uh, a short survey that will start once the, the webinar uh, ends. Uh, we will uh, uh, really appreciate it so we can improve uh, uh, and finish policing this, uh, this uh, the release of the Civil Fem 2019 uh, version. All participants of this uh, beta tester will have a free training course uh, Civil Fem software and will get a certificate. And as well, they they will uh, have a promotion of a 50% discount on any course of the of our uh, Bitwar uh, online platform. And the winner will receive a training grant and two months of Civil Fem Expert License, which is the the the, the license with the, all the capabilities, including thermal and seepage uh, uh, analysis. And they can be including uh, all technical support, which is uh, well for any any analysis, uh, non-commercial uh, research works, uh, final uh, uh, master projects, papers, and well, please uh, visit uh, this web page, or uh, and as well uh, um, you can fill in the, fi the final uh, survey. Oh, uh, see here you have uh, uh, information for for uh, sales, uh, technical support, uh, take into account that you will have always uh, a, a full team behind the, the software so they can answer any of your, of your doubts. Here, always, if you visit our webpage, CivilFem, webpage, you can uh, always get a free trial, evaluate the software, or join always our community to uh, share your experience and uh, um, communicate with, uh, with the staff behind the Civil Fem or uh, with the rest of uh, Civil Fem uh, users. And always uh, you have our social media and in this case in YouTube you have a full uh, list of videos to, to and tutorials and, and cases that many case studies but uh, of course always we are open to your demands so if you need any extra presentation or or demo uh, which can be suited to your to your needs well yes thank you very much for your attention and as you know we are just uh... Uh, we will continue doing this this type of, of demos with uh, the new and, and webinars with uh, solving trying to solve some of these type of advanced problems but if you have any questions you would like to you have any specific problem you would like to know if civil is able to solve it or any suggestion it's very very welcome just contact us and we will be uh, please don't hesitate and we'll be glad to help you thank you very much thank you see you next webinar